welcome back guys so we also need to see how the other side of messages will work so to do that let's uh, log out for a second let me log out let me go to my profile log out and I will log in as Mary so we can see those messages that we have I think I forgot something here okay there we go so now this is the person I was talking to so remember there are no notifications yet about messages and I'll click on message and now uh, oh wait a minute chatting with okay all right so this is who I am chatting with but I am uh, Mary chatting with this person so let me try and uh, send a message as well so it says how are you and I will say I'm fine and how are you like that so let's try and send that mm hmm so now as you can see it's displaying correctly but the only problem is uh, all the messages are on one side so we want this message to be on this side so it's up to you to decide uh, which side you want your messages to be but uh, it's easier to read this way and these so it's better to give the senders messages to put them this way and put your own this side so let's do that with message right now how do we do this so let's come back to um, messages.php because that's the place that will decide what we show message left or right and we can use the I own content we come to message left here so you can see where is that hmm. this function right there if I own content then we can do something so let's come back here for a second and I will put an if statement right about there and it's going to say if I own content message then let's show one message on the left if I own it let's show it on the right actually but then if I don't which is else show it on the left now because we haven't uh, added I own content to messages we can still use the user here because the user de de uh, determines who uh, owns the content if I just run it the way it is now it will still show just one side because we don't have a way to determine who owns a message yet but we can know who owns a user uh, row so I can use that one there and refresh okay so it seems uh, we can't know that either so let's take it back to message now this will be the time to go to classes and functions and let's look at I own content a closer look shall we mm -hmm. so if the row if it's set row gender which means this is um, this is a user row and my ID which is this one is equal to the user ID then return true so why didn't this return true when we used uh, where is that when we used the row user like that oh I guess it actually worked it's only that uh, these are the same so let's change one of these sorry that was my bad refresh and there we go okay so we are getting down to business but if we want the this to also determine uh, messages right we can easily do this duplicate one of these guys do that and then just call this one for messages so the issue is simple in messages that's when we have sender for example it's the only time we have that and if my ID and the sender are the same then um, I obviously own that content 
So if I save that and I come back here and use messages, I probably should get the same result. Okay, so undefined index post ID on line 75. Ooh. So inside message right. So why did that just pop up now? Let's go to 75. Oh, that's because this is uh, a working thing now. So instead of post ID, it's going to be MSG ID. Hmm. Same thing we are going to do in the left version. Same thing here. We don't anywhere where there is post ID, obviously. So let me try and find different versions. Oh, I guess that was the last one. Same thing here. <coughs> in the other file. Okay, there we go. So now we can actually delete the delete button there. And these we cannot, but we should find a way to be able to delete both of these, whether they, we own them or not. So I think what we will do here is remove the if I own content, because you should be able to delete all messages on your, on, in your inbox, right? So let's do the same thing down here. Hmm. All right, so, so far so good. Delete, delete, delete. Very good. Now, if you want uh, things to look a little bit more, what's the word, more elegant, you can use Icon Finder, like the Icon Monster, sorry. So if you go to iconmonsterhere.com and you search for close, something like this. You get uh, one of these babies, I like this one. I like this one with a thick X. So if I click in there and then I agree to the license, embed. And so I can get the embed code here. Just copy that. And so instead of the delete button, we're just going to um, put that code in there. Save. Let's come back here for a second and refresh. Ooh, syntax error. Should have guessed. And that's because I'm using um, these uh, double quotes here. So instead, what I will do is step out of the thing here and then do another echo over here. And I will also do another echo here. But I'll use single quotes, go to the end, use another single quote, and semicolon. So come back, refresh the page. Okay. So at least now I have this kind of thing. Now, in case you want to change the color for some reason, you can do that. Uh, let's come back here. So we don't actually need this. Instead, I can put fill is equal to and then I can choose a color for example I can choose uh, yellow or maybe orange will look much better orange something like this yeah so it's entirely up to you you can be very specific with the color that you want whatever color code in there and you get that so let me copy this as well copy that Come back here and let's do exactly what we did on the other side. There we go. That way we can delete when we want. Okay. Now, only thing we need to do is let's move this over to the other side. I think it kind of looks better that way. So this is the right version. So a moment here. So there are two divs that are inside here. They are flexed. So what I will do is just move the other div over. Now, I need to be careful here, select this second div and see where it ends, which is right at the end here. 
So I will cut this one and just come down here and paste it here. So you can put labels, of course, just so you know what is what here, like this, a label, like so. Okay, so that's the right hand side, refresh, and there we go, looking more like messages. But then the text now should be aligned to the other side. So let's come back here, where are we? Hmm. Let's add a style here on this link and equals. I'm going to say float left. This is for the delete button here. Let's see if that works. Yeah, apparently not. Okay, that's because I'm doing the wrong thing here. I want this whole thing to float to the left. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, that's much better. And then I want the entire text in here to be aligned to the right. Yes. Let's try it right here and say uh, text align. Right. Let's see what we get. Okay, that's much better. So your messages, their messages here. And uh, we are looking good. So let me try uh, one more here. Now, the only issue is you notice that the new messages are right at the top here. So let me try one more. Uh, one more message. Yes. Send. And there we go. So the messages are at the top, but they're supposed to be at the bottom here. Isn't it? Hmm. So how do we uh, fix that? So let me come back here for a second. Let's look at the query that is retrieving these messages. So if I go to messages.php and data, message class read. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the classes and messages wait a minute where are we okay so that's send and let's go to read this is read so this is where our query is and let's look at this query we are saying order by id descending meaning just retrieve from starting from the end uh let's get 20 of these guys from the end so this is uh, good the only problem is the data should be reversed so it's a very simple issue to reverse the data there is a uh, array sort so I'll say array r sort oh wait i think it doesn't need to have array in there it's just reverse sort something like this and then you put your array in there data like so and uh, it reverses the now keep note that uh, you don't need to say data is equal to because it actually changes the actual array it doesn't return a value it just changes the actual array so you don't need to say data is equal to what what it will change the actual so let's see if that has actually worked. Refresh. And it hasn't. So maybe I was wrong. I have to equate it to something. So let's try that instead. Data is equal to R sort data. Invalid argument supplied for for each. So definitely I was wrong there as well. Yeah because data now is probably equal to true or false so i was right the first time so let's try sort instead of reverse sort let's try that okay that's the one so keep in mind that there's sort and then there's r sort like that to reverse in case you don't like the result then you can reverse it okay so there we go 
uh, messages from this person and then down here very good very good so uh, you can design these things as you wish and at least we have the general idea in place so next up we're going to look at how to um, how we can delete a few of these messages and uh, that should be it from deleting to getting notifications all right i'll see you in the next video